Hey everybody, Drew here with Smokecraft Barbecue, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to make the best pulled pork you've ever had. So we're in our backyard today, and today we're gonna to be cooking this beautiful Prairie Fresh USA Prime pork butt. This is gonna be some of the best pulled pork that you've ever had, and we're starting off with a really great quality piece of meat from Prairie Fresh. You can see the marbling and the level of marbling that's within this butt, and the marbling is just flavor. Lots of it. So today, this is a bone-in butt, um, and we're gonna start off, just take a quick look at it, um, and take off just any little excess pieces of fat. I got a little fat on top here I just wanna take off. You know, that's gonna be a little bit more than it's gonna cook off on its own. So we'll just trim a little of this fat off. It's got beautiful money muscle on it, unfortunately. We're not gonna be really using this today for competition, but it's gonna render some really great pulled pork. So we're just gonna kinda take a look around, Make sure that we got nothing crazy going on here that we need to take a look at. You see on the bone side here, I've got just a little bone chip, so we're just gonna get that bone out of there. We're gonna leave the main bone in as we cook today. The bone's just gonna have lots of really, really great flavor uh, that's gonna add to it. Backside here, we just got a nice fat cap, which is good. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing going right away. Now, I'm gonna cook today in our 270 GS in the backyard and with this type of smoker i'm going to want to cook it meat side up depending on your smoker you may want to cook fat cap up depending on how your airflow is but i want to get a really nice bark so i'm going to plan to cook meat side up today and what i am going to do with this fat cap this whole fat cap here is just going to when we're done is just going to come right off the butt um, so we're going to dig into it just a little bit and just put a couple uh, deep cuts in through the fat and this is gonna help allow a little bit of smoke to get into uh, the butt, a little more flavor get into the butt here. But we don't wanna to go too crazy. And if you do too many, it makes it hard to kind of remove this at the end. So we're just gonna do a little bit there and um, that will allow us to get some flavor into the back side of it. Now today, since this is a backyard butt, we're gonna keep it really simple. And I'm gonna, since I'm gonna be seasoning or cooking meat side up, I'm gonna season the back side first. I'm gonna take some yellow mustard. I'm just gonna put a little yellow mustard on top here, rub it in, get it into the crevices I just cut, get it on the sides. And this is being used as a binder, okay? This is, this is gonna cook off, not have a ton of flavor added to it, um, but this is gonna be my binder. And then today, I'm gonna be cooking with um, Lambert's Sweet Rubbo Mine. Uh, this is uh, the rub from Mark Lambert, the winner of Memphis in May multiple times. This is a really nice sweet pork rub that is fantastic uh, for the backyard cook. So we're going to go ahead and season it up. Just put a nice liberal layer on it. See the great color it's going to have. And because this is such a big piece of meat, you can go pretty liberally here because it's not going to get all the way inside it. Bounce just to get the sides. You can just bounce it right off your hand. Get those sides. And because we're doing it on this board as we flip it over, now i got a clean hand, dirty hand, so I'm trying to be conscious of that. But we can just kind of like pat the sides right on all that rub. Make sure we get it. Get it on there. Hit the sides while we got it up on its side. Oh yeah, see how we already got a lot of that when we did it on the board. Get a little bit on this side right here. All right. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and move it into the pan. Just in this pan, I'm just gonna sit it in while it's uh, soaking in the rub, just in case there's any liquid that comes off of it. Put a little bit more mustard on top. On this other side here. Again, just as a binder. This top side, we're just gonna hit it with the rub get a nice good layer here and we're now just going to let this soak in this is going to take about 30 to 45 minutes to soak in you want to let the rub get into the meat and we're going to start seeing the meat sweat just a little bit and that's what's going to tell us it's ready to go into the smoker so we're going to go ahead and get our fire started and get ready to go and by the time the smoker is hot this meat's going to be ready to get on this on the smoker today 
For our pork butt today, we're gonna to be cooking on the 270 GS. Now this is a great little backyard, uh, either uh, grill or smoker, hence the words GS. Um, a lot of teams are using this out there on the steak circuit, but it's also just a great little backyard cook and it fits a pork butt perfectly. If we come take a look inside here, uh, this has got two zone cooking inside of it. So we have on one side, we have our fire basket where we're gonna put our fire. And on the other side, I put a water pan in the bottom. And you'll notice I have this rack here that is a, um, depressed rack and it go because it goes down and it's not flat this is going to allow me to put the pork butt inside of this unit they come and you can use this by flipping it over as well to get two layers if you were doing competition chicken or wanted two things you could put two of them on here they also have one that goes flat across you, know, you also can fit grill grates right inside here so this is a really versatile smoker that's going to work great for us today so today what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cook with uh, some B&B hickory lump charcoal. Um, I love using this stuff in the backyard. Um, I love hickory with pork. So we're going to pour some of this in here and then we're going to light a chimney um, to do the rest of it and get it all the way started so it's nice and hot for us. So to light my chimney here to help get the fire started, I'm just gonna put it right on top of the grate, which I'm gonna set over the fire for just a minute. And this allows any uh, hot coals just to fall onto the fire. It also just keeps it off the ground. You never wanna start a chimney just on a plain surface ground in case you get that fire underneath of it. So we'll go ahead and fill it up about halfway since we already got it halfway done uh, in the smoker itself. I put a couple b, &B Sure Start fire starters in the bottom here. Oop. Try and get a few pieces of charcoal in there to get it going. There we go. Perfect. All right. I'm just going to light those Sure Start starters. Beautiful. All right. All right, and we're gonna let that go ahead and heat up and then get it on top. All right, so we're dumping in our hot charcoal that we've just heated up in our chimney on top of the charcoal we put into our firebox here on the 270 GS. The hot charcoal is now gonna slowly start heating the uncooked charcoal. We're gonna go ahead and keep this closed so it doesn't start flaring up on us. Our goal with this is to cook around 275 degrees. So we've moved over our tray away from the heat. We're gonna cook on indirect heat here and get this thing set up. We'll go ahead, open up the vents. And this is a more of a grill. So this is only gonna take about 15 minutes to get all the way hot to that 275. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our pork butt on. It's been almost an hour we've been sitting here waiting for our pork butt to soak in all this great flavor. And you can see, looking at the, the butt itself, almost all the rub is in. You're beginning to see it sweat, uh, which is what we want. Our 270 GS is now hot and ready. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do one more thing here. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit more of the sweet rub on mine. And I'm just gonna hit the top of this just one more time, kind of lightly. And by putting this extra layer on top, it's gonna to just help create an even better bark as it cooks. This is a trick straight from Mark Lambert when I was next to him at Memphis in May. When they do their whole hog, or I'm sorry, their whole pork shoulders for the world championship, this is the last step they do. So this is a nice little touch to add a little bit of that bark in the backyard. But now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna move it over into the GS and get ourselves uh, going here. So we're gonna go ahead and put our pork butt on here. I just threw on a piece of the of pecan and a piece of cherry on top of our charcoal. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put on uh, our pork butt here on the uh, lower rack. And I'm gonna put the uh, bone side towards the fire to protect the meat side just a little bit as it cooks here. But you can see we've got the great two zone grilling going on um, and it's over a water pan. So any of the drippings are gonna go right in that water pan and have that great moisture. But let's go ahead and close this up. We're gonna let it cook at about 275 degrees for two hours. We'll come back and take a look at it then. Now 
It's been about an hour and a half on our Prairie Fresh USA Prime pork butt cooking on our 270 GS. And I just want to take a look at it, uh, see where we are right now. Um, it's been just smelling so great just standing around here. But oh my goodness, look at that great color. If you get in here, look at the color you see, the great mahogany. You're beginning to see the fat break down. We do have a little, couple little dark spots. Again, we put the bone towards the fire to protect the most of the meat. So we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of apple cider vinegar I've got here in a spray bottle. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and spritz it down. This is just gonna add a little bit of moisture, just a hint of flavor, you know, but now that the, uh, the rub has begun to really adhere, you know, this isn't gonna knock off that rub. Notice I'm getting all the sides. Oh, flavor smells so good. All right, that's it. I'm just gonna go ahead and let it keep going here. And uh, we, our fire's looking good. We got plenty of fire. Our wood is slowly cooking down on top of it. It's looking great. So we're gonna check out back on this in about an hour. It's been two and a half hours now on our Prairie Fresh USA Prime pork butt on the 270 GS. It's time to take another look at it. I want to go ahead and probably spritz it again with some apple cider vinegar. So let's go ahead, open it up, see how we're doing. Temperature's been holding steady. It smells fantastic. Oh man, and look at that. Look at the color. We're beginning to get more of that deep mahogany. You can see the bone being towards the fire is protecting the meat. We do have a couple hot spots, you know, a couple parts on the little thin stuff on the edges that are getting a little extra, you know, heat, a little darker, but overall the color is just absolutely fantastic. And we're just spritzing it to keep it moist, add that little bit of flavor with the apple cider, but really it's about moisture and just keeping this thing from drying out as it cooks. And it's sitting on top of a water pan in here, but you just see that steam coming off of it. Our charcoal is burning nice and clean. We still got a good amount of charcoal in there. We got our pieces of wood that are still burning, giving that slow smoke. So we're looking great two and a half hours into this cook. We're gonna go ahead and shut the lid for another hour, and then we'll come back and check it again. But it's looking absolutely gorgeous for where we're at at this point in the cook. It's been another hour, so let's go ahead and take a look at our Prairie Fresh USA Prime pork butt in our 270 GS. Oh man, look at this color. We're continuing to get some great mahogany. You can see on the outside, we're beginning to get that heat. So we're gonna just keep spritzing it here. We're getting close to getting time to wrap. You know, our total cook time right now has been about three and a half hours. So we're getting close. We'll probably have to wrap it in about an hour, but we're still got some good fire. I added a couple extra pieces of uh, charcoal as the firebox began to burn down just to maintain that heat. But man, this is looking fantastic. We'll see it in an hour. It's been four and a half hours now on our pork butt on the GS. Let's take a look, see where we're at right now. Oh man, this color, this is really getting great. You can see the bone beginning to pop out a little bit. It's really beginning to tighten up. We're seeing that fat come down. We're just gonna spritz it one last time. And I think this is gonna be our last spritz before we wrap this up because we have really great color throughout. The temperature's been holding beautifully. And it's just, oh, it's just looking so good. So. We're gonna give this another about 30, uh, we'll probably give it about 45 more minutes, take it to about five and a half hours, and then we'll go ahead and wrap this thing up and then we'll show you how to finish it off. It's been six hours for our Prairie Fresh USA Prime pork butt on our 270 GS. It is now time to go ahead and get it wrapped. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's been cooking with some pecan and cherry over some B&B hickory lump charcoal. And the color on it is fabulous. We're definitely where we wanna be. So let's go ahead and finish it out. Come on over, let's take a look. Let's go ahead and open her up. Oh man, we got some great bark on here now. All right, it's all nice and crispy and the bone is sticking out. We've got it in the, the great color. It's definitely time to go ahead and wrap this. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and just pick it up carefully. Don't worry folks, I have hot gloves underneath my uh, plastic gloves here. So don't try to pick that up without having uh, gloves underneath. The little pit master trick, you can get some white cotton gloves and those white cotton gloves will make all the difference for you. So we got this beautiful piece of meat. It's got some really nice bark on it. It is a little dark, but that's okay. It's gonna come back as, as it's wrapped right here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I've left it fat capped down. I'm gonna spritz it one more time with just a little cider vinegar. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of just regular clover honey and I'm gonna just put it right on top. Mm. It's okay to be liberal with it. It's a big piece of meat. So get it all on there. Ooh, the smells are just so good right now. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to take a good size handful of some Domino's light brown sugar. Any light brown sugar is going to work. I like using just a regular brown sugar for this because I can just take a handful, spread it out. I want a good layer basically covering the top of our uh, butt here. And then I've taken some Kerrygold Irish butter. I'm taking the salted butter and I've got one stick here and I've cut it into kind of like three long pieces to sit on top here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Now I gotta be careful wrapping because this bone's sticking out. So we'll go ahead and cover it. Be careful we don't poke a hole in it. Bring it down, bend it down, fold up. Same on the back, just bend it down, fold it up, watch out for that bone so you don't poke a hole in it. And I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this because it's a big piece of meat. Always double wrap it just in case you spring a leak. Get all the way covered. You want it nice and tight. And that way we're going to be able to keep all the great flavor inside without creating too much of a steam pocket. Our whole purpose of doing this is just to render down the last of that fat inside so it gets super, super tender. So we're going to go ahead and put this back on. It's going to take about another hour and a half at 275, and then we're going to start checking it. Our target internal temperature on this pork butt in the middle is 203 degrees. So let's get it back on there, and we'll see you guys in a little bit. It has been eight hours total cook time on this Prairie Fresh USA Prime pork butt on our 270 GS. And we just checked it. It's been wrapped for the last two hours and it is ready to come off. We were searching for an internal temperature of 203 to 205. We just hit 205 degrees. So let's get it out of there. Let's go take a look at it. Oh man, that fire is still burning. I did add a couple more pieces of uh, the chunk of the charcoal just to keep the fire going again, the small fire box. We've used total maybe half a bag of charcoal tonight or throughout the day uh, in the GS, which is actually really efficient for an eight hour cook. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just put our Thermapen probe instant read thermometer inside here. You see right there, we're 203, 205, which is exactly where we wanna be. So this is done. And just checking again, see, that's even a little higher on that spot. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing out of here now. Let's go ahead and we'll just put it into a, uh, carefully lift it up so we don't rip the foil. We don't want any of that goodness to leak out of here. But we're going to take it off the heat. We're going to put it into a half pan. Go ahead and shut this down. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this into our hot box. We're going to let it rest for about an hour at least, one to two hours until it's ready to serve. This will let the juices inside the pork redistribute, and we're going to have a much more tender pork butt as a result. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to wait an hour. We're going to do our best. We'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, fans, we've waited an hour for our Prairie Fresh USA Prime pork butt to rest in the hot box. Just letting all the juices redistribute after we cooked it on our 270 GS. Just to recap, we smoked it for six hours that with uh, pecan and cherry wood over some B&B &B hickory lump charcoal. Then we went ahead and wrapped it up with some honey, butter, brown sugar, just a little apple cider vinegar. And now we've just let it, let it cook two more hours until it reached an internal temperature of 205 degrees, pulled it out, let it rest for an hour. Here's where we are now. I cannot wait to see this pork butt. So let's open it up here. Let's take a look. Let's see what we've got. Right, the moment has come. You wait all day to eat. It's dark outside. And oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, that just looks so good. It's got some amazing bark on it still. Even though we wrapped it, that bark is kind of stayed. 
Oh, I can feel it wanting to fall apart as I pull it out here. Oh man, that just smells so amazing, so amazing. So, true test of if it's done, we're gonna take the bone. Look at that bone. That is a clean, clean bone, ladies and gentlemen. That is as clean as they get. Not a piece of pork on it. Oh, there's just a little bit. I'll have to eat that. But that is how you tell your pork butt is done. We're gonna put that aside here. This has got some great bark on it. Remember the last step we did when we seasoned it is after we let it sit for an hour before we put it in, we went ahead and hit it just again with that bark or with the uh, Sweet Rebel Mine to get that really nice bark on it. And it really has a great bark. It's not burnt. You know, it's got just a nice crispy and crust. But you know what? Let's go ahead and get into this. I just cannot wait any longer. Look at how it just falls apart. That is just so perfectly done. I mean, this this right here, it's just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. We got all of it is just sitting here, just pulling right apart. You got great moisture inside here. You can just see that steam coming off. I mean, that, those are some perfect pieces right here. You see right here, you got that smoke ring. You can see the smoke getting in there right on the pork. All the way around, you can see that smoke ring. So this is fantastic. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to just shred this up because we're making this into pulled pork. There's nothing else for it. We're going to mix it right in, get all that. Oh man, it's like, look at all this steam. It's all this heat built up. And that pieces of bark right in there are just going to be just great little, great little bites as we go. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and finish this off with a little bit of our Smokecraft honey peach vinegar sauce. We make this in our restaurant in Arlington, Virginia. It is our take on a Carolina style vinegar sauce. It's just got a little more sweetness to it. It's absolutely fantastic. A little peach. It was built for pork. We're just gonna pour it right on top. Oh, that just looks so good. Just add that little bit of something. Let's go ahead and just mix that in. Now let's see how it all tastes here. Ah, come back. It's a clean table. We're good. All right, moment of truth. Beautiful piece of pork. Let's see how we did. Oh man. That is fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you how that this would be the best pulled pork you've ever had. There's no question about it. Make sure you guys try this recipe at home. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you learned something. Make sure you follow us on socials at SmokecraftBBQ, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Make sure you also hit the subscribe button below. We'll look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, I'm just going to keep eating me some pork. <laughs>